What's up everybody, Mike from Death Ricking here. Today I wore my Mandalorian helmet. I thought it was appropriate because I'm gonna do a review of the new helmets. We got the Mandalorian, we got Luke Skywalker, and we also have the Dark Trooper helmet. Plus, we're gonna look at some sets that have already retired like the TIE Fighter helmet and the Stormtrooper helmet and see how they are performing. As well as Boba Fett actually has some data out there that we can look at too to get an idea of how well these new sets may do after they retire. Let's get to it. Okay, up first we got the LEGO Star Wars The Mandalorian Helmet, set 75328 with 584 pieces. This is part of the 18 plus line, and this set will retail for $60. Not a whole lot to it. I like how they do the 18 plus sets with the black box art, and it's got a little bit of a brownish gold glow around the helmet. Here's the back side of the box with a couple pictures of the Mandalorian, and then it gives the dimensions of the set itself. I really like the Mandalorian helmet. I think they did a really good job with it. The one thing I would say is that there's quite a few of the little chrome silver pieces on there to make it smooth, but yet there's still just a lot of studs on all of these helmets, and they seem to not be able to smooth them out more. If the whole top of it was smooth, it would look phenomenal. Here is the side, and I think they did a really good job here. I love the little side piece, you know, the ear piece or whatever you want to call it. They did a lot of chrome pieces there. That looks really good to me. The back side looks really good. It's probably got the most smooth parts to it. I like how they almost have the little vent going down the back side of it. And here you can see the other side is identical as well. For comparison's sake, I figured I'd bust out the Boba Fett. You can see that the Mandalorian's, the middle piece, is a little bit wider in the black form. But overall, they are pretty similar. The Mandalorian's face is a little more indented into the cheeks than Boba Fett. But the one thing cool about Mandalorian is it actually has some of those smooth chrome pieces on top. Versus Boba Fett is all studded out. There are no smooth pieces. Now there are on, you know, like the eyebrow and the eyes and stuff like that. But you can see the sides are very similar as well. And the back sides are similar. They both have kind of like that ventilation going down the center. And they have a lot of smoothness. But overall the Mandalorian does have a little more smoothness than Boba Fett. I really like the Mandalorian set. I think it's going to do really well once it retires. Kind of like Boba Fett though, they're all going to be hoarded. That's just part of it. If you do like Star Wars and you do really want to go down that road, I think that this one's going to do well. I think it would do probably just as good, if not maybe better than Boba Fett. Mandalorian is such a popular show these days. Next, we got the Lego Star Wars Luke Skywalker Red 5 helmet, set 75327 with 675 pieces and 18 plus line. This is the second largest out of the new three helmets and it will retail for $60. And on the back side of the box, you got a couple pictures of Luke flying Red 5. This thing looks really good. There were pictures out there on the internet of one mocked up, and it was terrible. It had a face in it. If you saw that one, it was terrible. This one, they did a way better job just having the helmet, obviously like a helmet with no face inside. I like how they got the chin strap. They got the microphone hanging off the side. They did a really good job. Even the visor, the orange glasses looks really cool. A lot of really cool stickers and printed pieces on here. That's one thing I have to gripe about is I don't understand why they can't just do all printed pieces. I understand I'm sure they're saving money or whatnot, but on a piece like this for 18 plus and it's a display piece, just print them off. Here's a side look to the helmet. This helmet has a lot more detail than you would think. Here's a good look at the backside. And one thing that's cool is these yellow pieces are actually a yellow rod that you bend and hook in the front and back to give it that extra look. All the white stripes are actually printed pieces. Here's another look at the side. The Rebel piece up top is a printed piece. These are stickers, then this one is a printed piece. This little center piece is a sticker. You can see inside there are earmuff pieces that I thought was a really cool touch to this. And here's a good look at the top of it. I wanted to make sure you see all the angles because there is a lot of detail to this set. So my final thoughts, I think they did a really good job with the Red 5 helmet. It looks amazing. Last, we have the Lego Star Wars Dark Trooper helmet, set 75343 with 693 pieces of the 18 plus line. It will retail for $60. And this is the largest piece count out of the new three helmets. I do like that red glow on the back side of it that draws out the eyes. It's really cool. And then you got the back side of the box. Got a cool little blue glow to the back side of the helmet. And then there's a couple different pictures of the Dark Trooper. I believe the one on the left is from the last episode of Mandalorian. And then the one on the right is from the second to last episode of Mandalorian Season 2 when they come and take Grogu. This may be my favorite, but I really do like all three. But it is because it's just a black robot helmet. But those red eyes in there look awesome to me i think that's the coolest part of it got a cool mouthpiece and those are a couple stickers up front obviously all of these come with the star wars plaques for each of them here's a good look at the side you can see there's a lot of smoothness to the side of it and then even on the back side there's a good amount of smoothness as well obviously both sides are identical I really do like this set. One thing I wish they would just start incorporating some more 
rounded pieces into these sets. This one on the inside was a little more hollow. And that's one thing I'll note, each of them had a different building experience, which is really cool, the way the inside is built out. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the TIE Fighter helmet, and that TIE Fighter helmet is doing pretty good out there after it's retired. Let's take a look at some numbers. Hey, time out. If you like this kind of information, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. It helps get my information out to other people. I truly do appreciate you watching. Let's get back to it. So I'm going to start with the Stormtrooper helmet set 75276, and I'm not going to dwell on this one. You can currently get it for $60 on Amazon. You can see that some, I think, have been sold for about $73. It sold as high as maybe $95 over here about a year ago last Christmas, and then as high as about $120. Right now, you can get it on Amazon for full retail, but I think Boba Fett and, of course, the TIE Fighter helmet would do a lot better. So we'll look at Bubba Fett's helmet real quick. 75277. It's going for $52 currently at retail. You can see here on Camel, Camel, Camel that it sold as high as $130 last Q4 of 2021. And when it came out, it was going for almost as high as $160. So hopefully this definitely has a good 150, 200% return on investment after some time of retirement. And even on eBay, you can see that the Boba Fett and the Stormtrooper are going for about retail um online so it's one of those you're just gonna have to wait it out on that one but it should do a lot better based off of previous performance once it retires so here's a set you want to know about obviously the tie fighter helmet 75274 which was a target exclusive which is the same when it comes to the dark trooper helmet as well that made this a lot rarer and you can see right now this thing is going for 164 dollars and 95 cents so i rounded it up to 165 and that's 180 percent return on investment right now on Amazon. Let's look at eBay. So on eBay, you can see that the TIE Fighter, somebody accepted less than 170. Here's one for 160, 145, a little bit under 145, 150, 152, 160, 140. So you can see that on eBay, it's probably going for about $150. Now, if you got this on sale at Target for about $50, that's 155% return on investment on eBay after your 15% fees. So whether it's eBay at 155 or Amazon for about 180, that's a pretty darn good return on investment at this point. And this set's not even been retired a year. It's really not been retired very long at all. This set is awesome. I see this set hitting over 200%, probably this Q4 for sure. So my final thoughts are this. I think these three helmets are going to do really well once they retire. I think these three are the best trio that we have had so far. The first one with the TIE Fighter, Bova, and the Stormtrooper were pretty good. This last ones with Darth Vader, the Scout Trooper, and the Droid are good, but I think that Darth will probably do the best later on. That Scout Trooper might surprise a lot of people, and the Droid, I don't know. I got a couple of them. I found on clearance. But these three, Mandalorian, Luke, and the Dark Trooper, I think all of them will do really well. If I had to pick one, I'd probably just go with the Dark Trooper, but it may be the Mandalorian. I think the Luke one may be least sought after, which might be a good thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to pick up any of these? Did you build any of them? They were fun to build. I like these little helmets for a display for myself. Again, thank you so much for watching. Mike with Debt Breaking, I'm out. <laughs>